oftentimes people visit the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel and they assume that there's not a lot of history here. I think it's exciting when people begin to understand that a shell has meaning, that a shell here connects us to what the environment was of the past. When you're on Sanibel or, or on Fort Myers Beach, we're the high point of the island, and that's due to human influence. The Calusa influenced the land by truly constructing the landscape in their worldview, and they built their sites out of shell and earth. The Calusa, at the time of Spanish contact in the early 1500s, they were the most powerful, organized, and effective group of people, not known as a tribe of Indians to the Spanish, but as a kingdom. They controlled the southern third of the Florida Peninsula from their heartland based right here on the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel. The Calusa built shell mounds for multiple reasons. There's a practical aspect, but also a cultural one. They built up these mounds, significantly changing the topography of the area. Mound Key State Park is located in Estero Bay. There are a number of shell mounds that were created by Calusa and their predecessors, um, which would have started out primarily as just an oyster bar. Humans would have arrived there, they would have eaten it, and like anybody else, you would eat the shell and then you would put the shell somewhere else away from you, throw it away. Through time, it would accumulate. Eventually, people realized, hey, we can live on this, and then they started modifying it to their needs. The Mound House is a historic and archaeological site. The house, the museum facility, is built on top of a 2,000-year-old Calusa Indian mound. The underground exhibit featuring a mural and an open dig is where archaeologists unearthed the relics, the artifacts, and things that you see that are on display in the museum. There are several places in the vicinity of the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel where people can learn about the Calusa. One of the best places is on Pine Island at the Randall Research Center. A visitor can experience the Calusa heritage by walking a trail, standing atop of a midden mound, looking across the estuary. You can also experience Calusa culture from the water itself. Putting yourself in a kayak or a canoe or on a boat and traveling over to Mount Key and coming up on the site exactly as the Calusa would have for the last 2,000 years. When people come here and contemplate this place and all the time that these people were here, I think they leave with a greater sense of humanity and all the possibilities and take that with them as a reassurance of a place in the world. Once you learn about this rich history, going back over 2,000 years, once you learn about the abundant natural resources of the estuary in the Gulf of Mexico, you come away with a sense of ownership. And that you take with you wherever you go. Now you're involved. Now you've learned something. And hopefully you participate in protecting those resources.